Hey guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Legend of Ligeia. Okay, we finished up dreaming with all three of our characters here, and learned a little bit more about their past, which is always interesting. I love scenes like this. So, alright, let's hear what Teague's got to say to us now. We should be able to understand him. In the beginning, there was Teague, and Teague was everything. Then, Teague divided himself into two. Those were Human and Seru. Teague also divided the world into two, the Human World and Seru Kai. To protect two worlds, Teak placed ten Genesis trees in Human World and a mother Genesis tree in Seru Kai. To govern Seru Kai, Teak chose a small group of Seru and gave them special Ra Seru power. A thousand years ago, by the human calendar, the Ra Seru rogue plotted behind Teak's back. Rogue gave the human Seru, but humans coveted the Seru's power, bringing chaos to the human world. Teague learned of the plot of the Ra Seru Rogue and sealed him in the eternal dungeon of Rogue. But a few Seru in the human world were left to serve humans who had built the civilization with Seru. The mist is the breath of the evil Rogue, but the mist covering Ligeia was created by humans. Teague sealed the Ra Seru into the human's world's genesis trees, and he ordered them, help the compassionate humans save the world if a Rogue or other evil presence should appear. Okay, and that's all of them in a circle. We're going to repeat if we talk to the first one again. So let's talk to the main guy here. Did Teague tell you everything? He sure did. Vaughn, Noah, Gala. Do the three of you now understand the Seru, Ra Seru, and Teague? Yes. Teague knows all. Now, Teague will entrust you with the Fire Droplet. The Fire Droplet. From an age when chaos was the world, and the world was chaos. The Fire Droplet is chaos, and chaos is the Fire Droplet. Teague, the pure, perfect being, Seru human who is of spirit only, he shall now answer the hopes of human and Ra Seru by opening the door to his world, here and now. Von, Gala, I'm scared. We must make room for Teague. Look, humans, Teague has brought the two worlds together into one. Chaos is summoned. The Fire Droplet is Chaos. Teague now returns to Chaos. Teague's gone. Humans, take the fire droplet. Teague has left humans with his knowledge. Vaughn, use your courage. Gala, use your pride. Noah, use your hope. With these three things, knowledge will create the future. Never forget that. A dream? That was all a dream? No, Gala. Look, it's the fire droplet. Alright, and we got it. Thank you, Teague. I hope we can meet again someday. We did it. Now, Vaughn, we must hurry back to Dr. Usha's laboratory. Okay, and there we go. We have been departed with Teague's knowledge and the Fire Droplet. So we got a little bit more information, actually, about the history of Seru and Ra Seru and this new being, Teague. Um, apparently, the Seru were brought into the world by a, uh, a rogue, Ra Seru, named Rogue. Well, what do you know? Sealed into the dungeon, Ra Seru were sealed into the human world, as opposed to the Seru Kai. Just now heard about that. And, um, the Rossera have been given the purpose to help the humans in order to save the world. So I guess that kind of explains why they know a little bit more than they told us at first. But, um, it got revealed to us now anyway, so that's good. Uh oh what's going on? What's this? It's the word of Teak again? 
No, that's not Teague. Look, the whole forest is shaking. Noah, that is a Seru that doesn't belong on the surface. It's the evil Sim Seru Juggernaut. 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 We must run away now. Fine, it's too dangerous. The only thing we can do is flee. Mines is all destroyed. Now we can never borrow the power of Teague again. The enemy, the Mist Henchman, must have felt the words of Teague. Teague was an obstacle to their goal. That is why they unleashed Juggernaut on this holy place. But we still have the fire droplet that Teague gave us. Come on, everyone, let's teach those henchmen of the Mist a good lesson. Yeah, let's teach them a lesson. Let's get them real good. Ha ha ha. What, are you having a party with a monster like that on the loose? Kara, what are you doing here? <laughs> well, that's a fine how do you do. I can do whatever I want, wherever I want. Hey, Kara, why don't you give us that egg of a Rosseru you have? Egg of a Rosseru? Oh, you mean this Rosseru egg. Took you a while to put that one together, didn't it? Hmm. Okay. What? Yeah, hooray! Let me have it! I want it! I want the egg! Wait, I'm not gonna give this Rossero egg to you for nothing. I knew it. If you awaken Buma's Genesis Tree, like you did the one in Seoul, then I'll give you my Rossero egg as a reward. That was your plan from the very beginning. Well, get to it, kids. Kara, wait. Tell me why. Why do you want us to awaken Bulma's Genesis Tree? Well, if I said it was for love, little kids like you wouldn't understand anyway. <laughs> Vaughn, what's love? Does that have something to do with the Genesis Tree? Uh, you know what, kid? I don't know either. So you don't know what love is either? Well, let's try and figure it out together. Hurry, both of you. We have to deliver the fire drops to Dr. Usha. Yeah, Gala keeps pushing us in the right direction. So, yep, that pretty much completes the events here at Uru Mize. They unleashed Juggernaut upon it, and it got destroyed, of course. Now, there's a very, very easily missed item here. What you want to do... Oh, yes, by the way, there are random battles now. I didn't mention that, but here one is. <laughs> and we've got a couple new enemies, and we were ambushed. Uh, wonderful. Uh, we got the Boogie Pump, which is, of course, a new variety of the, um, I don't remember what it was called before, but it's like the pumpkin with bat wings, you know, whatever that is. And, uh, we saw the first variety of that, actually, on Mount Rikuroa. And that Wind Cutter can actually do quite a bit of damage, I wasn't expecting that. And, of course, we have another version of the, uh, Medusa-type enemy. I'm not sure what its original name was, but it's red now. As far as I know, it doesn't really do a whole lot else that the other ones did, I mean, or that the other ones didn't do. Um, Tax are fairly average, not too much to worry about. I mean, like I said before, I'm pretty sure these things can cause the stone status on you, but uh, it just hasn't happened to me yet, so... Um, I don't know, I could just be remembering wrong, but I'm like 99% sure, so... I don't know. Alright, let's just, um... Pretty much go all out on these guys, I guess. Go ahead and take care of this. Um... There we go. And one thing I've noticed is that Auto Attack really likes to use the Hyper Arts. It happens like all the time.
Yep, and there's another look at Super Tempest. I know we haven't seen it in a while. So, alright, let's let uh, this thing do its thing. I'm not sure if Donald's gonna take it out or not. I hope so, because I'd really like to get back to it. Yeah, that should probably get it, looking at those numbers. Oh yeah, that's more than enough. Alright, so yeah, there you go. There's some of the enemies around here. If I'm not mistaken, I believe Freezer is actually around here. Remember, we saw that guy underneath Octum in the fire path um, after Zane froze it over. So if you missed him there, you get an yet another opportunity. This is probably like the third or fourth time we've run into him. But right, let's go ahead and heal up Vaughn. He's kind of a little bit low. Um, I guess we'll just go ahead and spoon. Might as well. It's not like Gala really needs the MP for anything. Okay, and like I was saying about the item, you want to come around to the right here and head into the destroyed section. If you get right here where your head kind of gets covered, you can press X and find the magic grail. Now, this is a pretty nice accessory, actually, and I almost always keep it on. We can take off this earth talisman since I'm not using it. Um, if we look at the magic grail, as you can see, you recover some MP after each turn. This basically means that it's really going to help you in um, just spamming Spoon with Vaughn if you need to. So I pretty much recommend you keep that on. We're also going to be getting another accessory somewhat soon um, that's actually going to help us out a lot. It's actually going to be in the next dungeon type area that we're also going to be putting on Vaughn. And that'll pretty much take care of his accessories once you get the speed chain, the magic grail, and the next item we're getting. So um, Vaughn is almost completely set in his healing roll now. Alright, and yeah, here we go. Here's Freed level 2. Did, what did I call Did I call it Freezer before? I, I think I did, but no, it's free. I was thinking of the Zelda enemy, I guess. Um, anyway, here's its water crystals again, I guess, because it looks pretty cool. Um, otherwise, it's got exactly the same stuff. Take care of it the same way you did before, so, you know, it's really no big deal, and I don't think really... Oh! Wow, here... Okay, here it is. Here's the glare. This is the thing that can turn you to stone. And let's see if it does it here. Yeah, Vaughn is turned to stone. So as you can see, that's pretty much going to take him out of the battle. There was the magic grail. Um, so yes, it's the stone status. You can see we're not really able to do anything with him. Um, the one thing that it does do is they can still target him. Like I said, he can still be attacked. He won't take any damage, but he also can't do anything. So you probably want to take care of that. A medicine will do it. Anything that heals all status like that, that'll take care of it. So... Um, you know what, actually, let's spirit first. Okay, I'm going to take care of this battle off screen because I've actually already showed pretty much everything I need to and I don't want to take too much time, so um, I'll take care of these and meet you afterward. So yeah, there you go. That's stone. I'm glad I finally got the opportunity to, to um, show that. And like any status, it will wear off after battle, so you don't have to worry about it. Um, I ended up not even bothering to heal it because they could both just take out the two enemies with one shot each, so there wasn't really much of a need. Alright, so let's make our way out. We'll probably get one more battle. Maybe. Oh, okay, we made it. Cool, I was actually a lot closer than I thought. Alright, so now that we've finished our events back at Urumais, the next step as we've pretty much had hammered into us by Gala and numerous other people, we need to head back to the Usha Research Center. Don't forget, if you have um, Doors of Wind, you can use them to speed up the process a little bit. You don't have to walk all the way back and deal with the battles. Um, you can see the, um, the ruins are actually smoking on the world map now, so... Yep, they're permanently that way. We can't ever get back and talk to Teague anymore, which kind of sucks because he was a cool guy. Whoa, look at the floating castle there. That was actually an awesome view. I've never had that happen before. <laughs> But alright, we are back outside of Usha Research Center. Now, a lot of events are going to happen once we step in, so I think I'm just going to um, actually save the game right here, and this is where we can start up next time. Seems like a perfect place to do so. So, once we start up again next time, we will um, return the Fire Droplet back up to Dr. Usha and see if he can make us some Time Space Bombs so we can destroy Koru and then unfreeze Buma and take care of the Genesis Trees and get the Rosseru Egg. Did you follow all that? Yeah, <laughs> that's what we're going to be doing. So, until then, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.